high weeds basically have a very efficient color screen multimeter design using an alphanumeric display. We recently reviewed the 601 and now it's time to look at the 602 which is a close colleague of it. And we are not going to do a full unboxing of the shipping because for this we already have a video from the 601. This mainly looks at the differences. And here we have the second unit, the KM602. In we go, cut, cut. And again we see, as usual for Kaiweeds, we get the user manual here and we get this thing. Let's see what we get this time in terms of accessories. Yes, here again we have the multimeter. Here we have the usual set of probes, we have the thermo element, the charger and the actual multimeter, which here has a significantly larger screen as you can see. And let's power it on and we see the larger screen in action. And of course, it's now time for a little mechanical comparison. This is the unit which we already reviewed. This is the new one. And you see that the new one is quite a bit smaller. But you see, on the other one, we've got this foot here. Whereas on the new one, we don't have the foot. We only have the LED. And the jacks are here at the bottom, these three only. And also, this is not a touch screen, so the actual control is done via these buttons on the side and these buttons on the side. And yes, the back is coated in a way, so I have the feeling this unit is intended to be using it when you walk around like so, and it feels relatively comfortable in the hand, also because it's a bit smaller. It reminds me of a classic Palm PDA or something similar. And something which took me a bit of time to find out, admittedly I'm dumb, is that you have on the back here this removable shell. So you see here you can peel the multimeter and then you get this much reduced shape and this here is again the fuse door. So basically if you want the smallest possible unit, you can also remove the rubber and then you have it just like this here. And yes, let's look inside the back door here, if we open it. And yes, we see in here the fuse. This is a smaller fuse than the one which they used on the bigger version, but it's okay. And the interesting thing is you see the case construction is a bit different here. There is this which is below the, the to hold the case is not present on this unit. But from a mechanical point of view, they didn't cut any corners. You see here there's an inlay, so the screw fits into the inlay and you can open it quite a few times without damaging the injection molded part. And just in case any one of you wonders, this here on top is for the power supply. And this unit, you can charge it with a USB port. So basically, there is no more need to exchange the battery, which of course brings down the total cost of ownership of the unit. And now to look at the actual function handling. We've got over there the select and the function button. And with the select button, you see that we can select the mode. So for example, if I'm in voltage, I can switch between AC and DC. Whereas with the function mode, I can switch between the various modes. And yes, this is not a touch screen. So if you want to go to the very end, there's quite a bit of pushing involved. One of the cool features is the lead detection. And now I went into current mode and you see it detects the lead. And if I put it into the wrong thing and force it again into current mode, 
you see that it complains. So it does have the partial lead detection. And here there is a thing, it says warning, don't measure voltage. So it informs you if you are planning to do something stupid. And this impression is reinforced when we look at the manuals of the two units. This is the one we reviewed the last time. This is the one we reviewed this time. And you see here that here the highest range is a 600 milliampere, whereas this guy has a 10 and a 100 milliampere also. So if you need to do high accuracy current measurements, definitely the KM601 is the unit which you want. And of course we have to do the usual connectivity test. And yes, there also is quite a bit of a latency as you see. So if you want to quickly trace something, that's not ideal. But of course, on the other hand, this seems to be more of a product for people walking around the field. And of course, it's also time for the usual measurement of the open circuit voltage. If you are in con connectivity mode, we see 1.7 volts. That's not too bad. Let's find out how much current we get. And we hear music, but it's quite low. So let's go for microampere. And now we see around the hundred 60 microampere. So the current is very low and it's a pretty, in general, I like the design, what I see here. That's well done. So it won't damage your existing circuits. So from my personal point of view, the 602 is more of the workabout version of the Kaiwitz multimeters, while the 601 is more intended for laboratory work. I personally am not so happy with the way the current ranges look on the 602, but on the other hand, of course, that makes it much more difficult for a technically challenged person to do a lot of damage. So you win some, you lose some. And with that, I thank you for your attention and I hope that you now know more about these fascinating color multimeters.